Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. It's Jeff Dime. And guess what? It's Wednesday night, so yet another giveaway should occur with our buddy Christopher Mitchell. He now does Sunday, and he does Wednesday. I just want you guys to take a second and look at this thumbnail. You know, he's got his mouth open as wide as possible. He looks like Godzilla's, like, approaching him or... Something I don't know why his mouth is that high, high up and stretched out. I don't know what could be, <laughs> what he could be <laughs> waiting for there. Um, but you see something like this, and uh, ninety-nine times out of a hundred, uh, it's going to be a bingo. That's a bingo. <laughs> It's going to be a scam, guys, and, um, you know, we've, we've broken it down. We've broken down the mathematics. We've broken down the lives. We've broken down everything, everything, okay? Um, real quick, sub giveaways, for real. Um, once I hit 100 subs, probably in the next video, I will be addressing that and addressing some other things as far as the, the direction the channel goes in. Um, I would probably do like a $20 transfer to a cash app or PayPal. I have them all because I'm not a scam artist, so I've never been charged back like Christopher Mitchell has. So I could do cash app and I could do PayPal, unlike Christopher Mitchell. <laughs> all right, so let's get into it, right? The Christopher Mitchell. Oh, man. You know what? That's, that's not Chrissy. I was in such a rush today. Who is that? Oh, that's powder. Shit. I don't even know how that photo got in there. I'm sorry, Chris. Here we go. Here's Chrissy. Here's Chrissy. I just wanted to show this. This is so beautiful, right? This was his July 1st giveaway. And, you know, his 5,000 quote-unquote subs. Okay. God knows how many he has. A couple hundred real ones. Anyway. Look at that, 167 uh, likes to 167 dislikes. I mean, not even, <laughs> Brie, go to Brie Larson's channel. She doesn't even get one-to-one -one like that. Um, and that, that's just the thing of beauty. Wanted to address real quick. There's two people who have been banned from my channel. Red Pill, which is Stacy, and... Uh, Wicca, who also went with Adam Sh by Adam Schlupin, who won this giveaway. I'll tell you why. I am not going to censor people. I will not censor people like Christopher Mitchell does. However, there's a few rules. If you go on, you can attack me. You can't attack another commenter un unprovoked. Excessive trolling with red pill... I did it for months. Well, at, at least, yeah, yeah, over a month. And uh, it's clear that she's Stacy. Uh, she's not open minded. She's a shill. It's a burner account. That's it. Bounced. I mean, that doesn't fall under free speech in my mind, does it? In any of yours? I'm not going to have this this stupid this stupid account. Commenting on my videos over and over and over. Chris is the, Christopher's at the Bellagio. He's at the Bellagio. You know, where are you? Where are you? Well, it doesn't mean anything. Oh, he's at the Bellagio, so he must be a professional gambler. There, you know, 99 point, you know, you like to say 99% win rate, Christopher. 99% of the people and more at the Bellagio right now who are gambling are not professional gamblers, Okay. Jesus Christ. And then Adam Schlupin, who won, I don't know if it's a burner or not, but he's not open-minded. I think this giveaway, he may have really zelled the money because it was right after Forum Wars caught him with his pants down. Obviously, not the first time for Christopher, but I think he did give away the money. But for Schlupin to come on to my, onto my channel... And just be like, it's not, his money's real. Dude, even if he gave you $100, it proves nothing. He was forced to do it. And you know what? 
I don't even care. I don't care if you know him or if you don't or if it was real or if it was fake. I already proved this thing. I've already proved this thing. The case is closed. Let's check with Mr. De Niro and see what he thinks. Files. What's going on? Case is closed. Ruben, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm on hold with the phone. Is that the garrison file? Is that a garrison file? Yeah. Give me the garrison files. Give me the garrison files. Give me oh, it all. All right, all right. Give me all right. It all. Is that more? Uh, everything, everything. The case is closed. The case is fucking closed. Case is closed. Finish. Over. Go to lunch. I, uh... Go to lunch. Go. Hey, go to lunch. Go to lunch. The case is closed. Everybody, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. The case is fucking closed. All right, so you guys get it. Case is closed. All right, if somebody comes on to the site and 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 even if they even if they want to say something bad about me i'm not going to bounce them uh you know bounce them right away if they come onto my channel i'm not going to bounce them right away but if i have a feeling that or i have enough enough evidence that they're a burner what the hell's the point what the hell is the point so they're gone so i have two people banned or blocked and he's got thousands of people blocked. Okay? Somebody wants to come on and say, I still believe in CM and this is why and wants to give some kind of reasoning. You will be shit on respectfully. But if you're just going to excessive troll, be an excessive troll, no. Not dealing with it. Life's too short. It has nothing to do with the positive environment, all right, Chrissy? I want my environment positive. You know, when you say my environment's positive, true or false? Am I a scam artist? True. <laughs> Anyways, so that, that's what it comes down to. So five days later, after that chemically enhanced, you want to call it, tirade... Um, this looks to be the damage control, this video with, with William and Bob, okay? I want you to, to listen, and by the way, fair use, I am using less than, I believe, 35 seconds of total content uh, of, of Chrissy's. Listen to how William answers Christopher's questions here. William, so far... Have you guys had fun with me? Have you made money with me? Have I scammed you in any way? Tell the viewers the truth, how you feel about me. It's always a lot of fun with Christopher. He, he's very animated. He's always positive when you go with him. So I love that about him. Positive all the time. Thank you. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, he's positive all the time. I don't think you answered the question there, William. And as Positive Variance, another great poster on PFA, pointed out. I agree with you. Oh, sorry. That's, uh, <laughs> that's Mr. Hesley. Mr. Hesley, he obviously doesn't know what's going on, okay, with, with gambling. You know, he was a, a $5 better and just, I, I, you know, Bob... It was a whole disaster with uh, the guy that uh, Christopher Mitchell keeps uh, talking about. And you have like three or four duped Facebook accounts, Bob. And you're not, and you're going and you're meeting uh, Christopher Mitchell. So you're beyond hope. And so we're not going to listen to Old Man River. And I'm sorry to even say that about him, but you know what? Some people, it is what it is. We've done all we can. We did all we we did all we can. So, what does William not answer? Shout out positive variance PFA. He does not say he made money, and he does not say he was not scammed. He just gives this. Oh yeah, it's it's always positive with Chris. It's always positive. While Chris gives like that death stare, like you better answer this question right. You better better answer this question the way I tell you to answer this question. 
And not only that, two important facts that I want to put out right now. During that, what we can call chemically enhanced tirade, he doxed William's last name because William was wavering. Shout out forum wars. I would never do that to you, William. And later in this uh, video, I'll have an email where you can reach me, and I would love to hear from you. Love to hear from you, and I'll go over that in a second. Okay? It gets worse, though, guys. Because this video took five days to make. Showed no results. No final results. So everything's pointed to the two that Martingale came, took their absolute asses. And then five days to put this together, I guess to try to make it look halfway decent. And let's, guys, everybody strap in, take a deep breath. <sighs> okay. Let's hear old Chrissy. We see that video tomorrow. So I have been extremely swamped. And I also want to say, for those of you who <laughs> were smart enough and spontaneous enough to take advantage of my personal one-on-one -on -one coaching at the price of $1,000, I want to congratulate you because that is probably going to no longer continue because too many people can afford it and too many people are booking me for my personal... Too many people can afford it. Thousand dollars to go out with this fucking fool who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. God. How sick is that? How sick is that? So that, does that just not make your blood boil? Is that just not... If it doesn't make your blood boil, I don't know what else would. This guy, I mean... Holy shit. Holy shit. That's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. And that. Fuck you, Chris. Fuck you. We got the NGC investigating your ass. And you know what he's trying to do? You know what he's trying to do? He's trying to build himself a golden parachute. He knows that his days are numbered in those clown shoes and his clown act. He knows, it, he knows that the, especially the nicer hotels where this scam works a lot better than going to, you know, the Henderson and uh, going to a casino next to a laundromat or going to the 7-Eleven and playing slots, okay? The beautiful, the nice casinos, the Encore, the Wynn, the Bellagio, the Aria, where I, in future videos I will go over my favorite casinos and things like that because I basically, that, that that's where my expertise is, but... He knows that day is coming, that day of reckoning, and he's trying to build a golden parachute. So now, like he always does, rips people off. He's trying to rip them off even more. Really, Chris? You Christian? You lying ass dog? Too many people can afford $1,000? Too many people. Do you know how many people have even $1,000 in their savings account? Do you realize there's a pandemic going around? And you're telling, at the end of this video, you're saying, oh, yeah, William, he quit his job. He's going to be good to go. Do you know how irresponsible? I mean, you don't care. You'll say anything. You'll say anything and everything. Selfish motherfucker. And that's why your morning coffee, my morning coffee, eh? it's my morning coffee, my morning coffee, it should go in this mug. And you know what? You are 
a product of your own mediocrity. You suck so bad at scamming. Suck so bad. Hey, Demetrius, come out here. Help me out, man. I, I All these friends, all these fake testimonials. Oh, I'm booked up. You ain't booked for shit, man. Just having friends do it. And you get this guy, Hesley, out there. And I really would love to know how this ended up. And why you didn't have any kind of summary at the end. But I think we all know. I think we all know. Right here. William, I'm talking to you, brother. And I mean this wholeheartedly. Any former clients who stumble on this video can email me at mrdime77 at gmail.com. And Christopher, you're welcome to email me a thread. I would love, love for you to do that. I would love for you to do that. And by the way, if you have a client collude with you to try to get information from me, it's not going to work out like that. Okay? I have a verification process. Um, if, somebody, if there's a client that got ripped off, that's disgruntled, uh, that wants to get in touch with me, then there will be a verification process. So don't even try it, you snake. All right? Um, if you watch my videos at all, I hope you can see that whatever you say to me is confidential. I will, I will only share what we agreed to or nothing at all if you're uncomfortable going public. Um, we have proven that uh, Chris is a fraud, and I know it's tough to come forward, but I can promise it will be just between you and I. If we agree with sharing details, I will follow our agreement explicitly. So please reach out. Please reach out. And we can forward that to the NGC and we can get this damn clown show put to bed. Real quick, I'm, I know I've been avoiding Stacy for the most part in these videos. Okay? Because... Yeah, part of me, she is complicit. She's complicit. And she's a grown woman. But she seems to be under some kind of spell. And I don't know her well enough other than from her videos. I mean, I know Christopher's a piece of shit. From his videos, from what he's doing, and from the research that we've done on him. He's a complete fucking worthless scamming piece of shit. All right? And so with Stacy, I don't know if like I I I I'm uncomfortable first off the optics of a, of me going after a woman even if she is complicit. And I don't know how guilty she is in all this. Okay? And so I don't know if she's a willing participant or if she's Stacy, put the fucking lotion in the basket. I got some guys coming over. We need lotion. <laughs> so that's why. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's in her head. I don't know what. I, I really don't know. They got a kid. It's just. Uh, it's heartbreaking. I did want to just show something about, you know how Christopher lies a lot. Well, I, I saw a video of Stacy's, and you guys can go check it out. I'm not going to show clips of it. And she talks about the power of words. And Chris has also made these affirmation things. And I think this is, I think I'm on to something. I think this is how they justify just lying through their teeth. We give 25K a year to the church, you know, 5,000 a day. This, I'm a millionaire renting a Hyundai Sonata. Just all these bald-faced lies. So I, I, I wrote this up. Um, I think they justify their lies as affirmations or the power of words. Just like Stacy talked about in the video, video about the power of words. 
CM also did a video about affirmations where he said all kinds of ridiculous shit while tossing money around, okay, which he quickly took down. It was the stupidest video. He was throwing a hundred. He's like, I am wealthy. I am happy. I will be given, you know, it's great wealth. I am looked at as the, as the son of the greatest God. All this, He took it right down. It was just ridiculous. So affirmations are positive statements that can help you to challenge and overcome self-sabotaging, self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. When you repeat them often and believe in them, you can start to make positive changes. Self-affirmations may also help mitigate the effects of stress. So, what are self-affirmations? They're telling yourself these positive statements. But, what I believe CM has done and has justified that to Stacy is they're conflating positive statements that can bring positive change to their lives to just blatant lies. To the extent to the extent he shows any kind of introspection and is self-aware he is a fraud, I would say it is minimal. I think almost every single lie is justified as doing the right thing for their family to prosper. You know, it's a fucked up, twisted way of thinking. But I right here, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty close to that. Um, by the way, there was a new poster in our, in our forum um, called Donkey that came up with these shirts. So if we ever did have a merch store, which we're not, <laughs> at least for a while, um, these are actually these are actually better looking than. Uh, I mean, that's not saying much, but these are much better looking than the Change Your Life vlog. So shout out uh, Donkey uh, Poker Fraud Alert. Uh, I spent one k and all I got was this lousy T shirt and. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the fight still goes on. Uh, I think that this this 2K, um, or I'm guessing 2K, I mean, I mean, he could go to 2,500 or whatever, is really because he's not getting the clients, and so whoever he gets, he figures, you know, they're going to most likely be flying in from somewhere far away, and if they're going to come, might as well try to knock them over the head with for as much money as possible. So, again, thanks for going through this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, there's going to be better stuff coming up. Um, but I wanted to get this out today. And I probably will talk to you guys in a couple of days. And uh, yeah, try to get that 100 from Chrissy. Wednesday Night Live, baby. Get that, get that money. Get that paper. All right.